Hello friends, today I'm going to solve it good problem number 587, erect the fence. Here we are given an array of trees where each tree in the error list is um, a coordinate of that tree. So basically it's the location where the tree is in the garden and what we need to do is we need to fence the entire garden such that the length of the rope is minimum which means that the perimeter of the fence is the minimum and uh, we need to also make sure that the garden is fenced so that all the trees are enclosed by the fence and we need to return the coordinate that lies on the fence perimeter so given in this example here we need to fence the whole tree so how could we actually fence this well basically we need to um uh connect the fence we need to fence the garden such that the trees at the edge are connected are on the fence so basically we are going to connect these tree with this one and then this with this with this and this finally we should um create the uh, fence with the minimum perimeter and all the trees lie on the fence so how could we actually solve this problem let's let me see talk with you about it here so this is our um tree so basically these are the coordinate positions where the trees are located and we need to find the perimeter which is the least which is the smallest and uh, which encloses all of the trees all of the coordinates so basically uh, this is our okay so this is our y-axis this is our x-axis so our perimeter here would look something like this okay so i'm just gonna join them with a line so this should be the perimeter actually connecting all of the trees which lie on the edge and so finally this will be our pair this will be the fence that we will uh, with the least perimeter and all of the trees are enclosed right so this must be our final result but how are we gonna achieve this well when you look at the perimeter you could see that this is forming a convex kind of um, convex form right so from here each tree between each of the three trees it's forming a convex curvature with uh, with these three trees one two and three, it's forming a convex curvature here right here with these three trees it's also forming a convex curvature with these three it's also forming a convex curvature and with these three it's also forming a convex curvature so basically um, what we need to do is to find the perimeter um, to find the tree we need to form a convex curvature basically to form a fence at the outermost edge we need to form a convex curvature well uh, these will also form a convex curvature right but again when we take these um uh, when we take, take this point this and this point we are actually eliminating this point and when we take this point when we intend to uh, enclose this tree as well then the curvature becomes convex concave uh, so basically we do not want that so we want the curvature to always remain convex so that is when we uh, eliminate this one and then we choose a curvature which is this one so how could we actually solve this problem uh, one way to solve this problem is by choosing a point uh, so we choose the leftmost point and the point um, 
if the two points lie on the same y-axis then we choose the point which is um, which has the least um, y coordinate so basically if i have one more um, point here three here then what i'm gonna do is um, this the my perimeter would be something like this now so this will be my new perimeter if I had one more point here. So when I have uh, two points on the same x-coordinate, uh, which is the smallest x-coordinate. So what I do is I start from the one which has the smallest y-coordinate. So I start from this point here. So this is my first point. And then I take the next point. So basically I'm sorting all of these points based on the X coordinate and then Y coordinate. So these two are my first coordinates in the list of sorted elements. And then what I do is since the two of two lines, well, these two lines will, these two points will form a line. It will never form a curva curvature, right? So, um, I just joined these two lines so we basically start from um, to form a curvex curvature we need at least three points so we take we choose the first two points and then we choose the third one based on the its occurrence on the list or the sorted list so um, what happens is I chose these two points so now my stack it has these two points so I'm choosing these two points. So in this way, my direction is from one to two. Now next point in my list is this one. So I choose this point and then what happens here is now my direction is from this, right? So in case what I'm doing here is I'm kind of doing cross um, product of these two vectors. So a vector 1 2 and vector 2 3 so i'm doing a pro cross product of vector a vector b let's represent it by vector a and b so what's a co cross product a cross product between two vectors is multiplication if its magnitude times the sine of the angle between the two uh, vectors so theta is the angle between vector a and vector b and the cross product of a and b is given by um, the third vector which is perpendicular to both to the plane on which vector a and vector b lies so suppose vector a and b are on the x and y x y coordinate plane then vector uh, cross product of these two vectors will lie on z plane and it will always be perpendicular the, to the plane so basically that is what uh, it means by z plane and then the direction to which the cross product lies depends on the angle between the two vectors so basically it is um, determined by the right hand thumb rule so right hand thumb rule what we do is um, vector a we represent vector a by our index finger vector b by our middle finger and the thumb will uh, determine the direction of the cross product the new vector so here in this case um, i'm representing vector b by my middle finger so vector b is represented by my middle finger vector a is represented by my index finger then vector z is represented by my thumb which is actually pointing out of the uh out of the plane of the screen so if vector a and vector b lie on the plane of the screen then the, the cross product is uh is perpendicular to the screen pointing towards me so what we need is we need the cross product to point towards me so which means that the value of this cross product will must be positive that is greater than zero if it's equals to zero which means that um, the angle between the vector a and vector b is equals to zero so the resulting vector also lies on the same plane so we do not want that so what we are going to do here is uh, perform the right hand thumb rule so um, 
from the right hand thumb rule vector b represented by our index finger vector uh, middle finger vector a by our index finger then what happens is the resulting fing uh, vector c is perpendicular but it's pointing away from the uh, away from us basically perpendicular to screen but it's um, uh, penetrating the screen from the back of your laptop or your computer so it's pointing away from you so in that case what i do what we do is we pop the we pop our second point from our stack and then we push our third point so basically i'm popping out second in point and pushing the third point um so what happens here is i'm actually removing these and what i get is okay so we did so i'm removing these so i remove this point and then i join these two points here now next point in my list is this one right so i when i choose this point again um this is my vector and in this case also the uh cross product is pointing towards away from me so basically it's a negative value the cross product is less than zero uh, in that case again i'm going to eliminate this point and then um create a line joining these two points so now my fence is joining these two points and next i choose another point so this is my point um so this one my second point my third point four five six seven eight um this is nine and this one is 10 on my sorted list so when i uh, so this is how my direction would look like and then in this case also it's negative so again i eliminate this two point this point four from my stack i pop from my stack and then i push five to my stack so my stack well basically i popped three pushed four and then i popped four and pushed five and now for five i move i i point my new point is six so again in this case also it's negative so i pop six and then pop five and push six and my new line new fence my fence would be uh my fence would be uh, pointing from here to here well basically we, we found our um, first first result now next in my line next in line is this point and then we take this point and we found is that this is pointing out right so we push out of the screen it's positive value so we push this value to the uh, stack so basically my stack now has values one six and seven and the next value is an eight and eight uh it forms something like this so what i'm doing is now i'm taking my first uh, top two um values from the stack so my i'm trying to perf create uh curvature from this so basically i'm doing the cross product of this vector and this vector and in this case it's pointing down right it's negative so now what i do is i pop off eight seven and push eight because it's negative so my new fence would be again new value would look something like so from six i popped seven and pointing towards eight so this is my seven um so this is what the new looks like and then from eight again nine and in this case again um it's pointing it's negative right so i pop eight push nine so my new direction 
my friends who look like this again i have one six and nine now from one six nine one six nine and ten so i take a value 10 and then i check the curvature and it's positive so far so good so now i have found this now from 10 uh well basically um we uh, got our lower hull now we need to find our upper hull and in case uh in order to find our upper hull um we start from the reverse order so we start from the end and then we perform the reverse order and then finally we'll get our parameter and at the end we will return our result so let's now start coding so what we need is we need to first of all sort our uh, um, trees in an act based on x-axis and then on y-axis and then we need to perform um cross multiplication point so if this is so if this is point p this is q and this is r so we need the magnitude of this this vector p q and vector q r so magnitude of vector p q is um uh, the x a coordinate the length of the x axis is equals to um p uh, p0 minus p q0 minus p0 right where p q0 is equals to uh, where 0 represents the x coordinate and 1 represents the y coordinate in the array so p, uh, q0 minus p0 and then the y coordinate is q1 minus p1 and similarly for this vector q r0 minus q0 r1 minus q1 right and then we are taking the cro uh, we, we are multiplying we are performing matrix multiplication and then we finally look at the result is it greater than zero so let's start coding now let so let's first of all sort trees let's sort based on x x is a0 minus b0 or if both are same x axis is equal then based on y axis so now now we got our um sorted at least now we need to find a direction of our cross product so i'm gonna create a function orientation equals to function we are gonna pass three vectors three points p q and r which are gonna form two vectors and returned the matrix multiplication so the matrix multiplication is equals to these times these minus uh, these times this so q0 min minus p0 times r1 minus q1 so it's um q0 0 minus p0 times times r1 minus q1 times r1 okay r1 minus q1 minus q1 minus p1 times r0 minus q0 right so q1 minus p1 times r0 minus q0 so this will return the orientation and now what we are going to do is for each of the points um i equals to zero i is less than the land plus plus for each of the points we are going to start from the very first we need um our stack so let hall equals to a new array and then while our stack the length of the stack is 
not greater than or equals to 2 so while all the length is greater than or equals to 2 so we need to have at least two elements to perform this orientation right to calculate the direction so until and unless we don't have these two elements we are gonna push push um trees i we're gonna push the value from the trees so while hull and okay orientation so my first element is so basically my elements in the calculation are the values uh, from this stack right so the value first two values of this stack so i'm always taking the first two values in this stack so i wanna first two means the top two values in this stack so all that length minus two which will give me the uh, second to the last element in the stack then minus one will give me the last element and the, the last point is um, the point that I'm currently visiting on the trees and then what i'm gonna check is if it is less than zero right so what i did was um if it was for convex hull if it was point negative i removed the element right i moved the top of the hull and then pushed um, my current point right so what, that is what i'm gonna do if it's less than zero i'm gonna pop from the hull and then I'm gonna push if it's greater than zero. And now I'm gonna perform the similar thing for same for the upper hull. Starting from the reverse order, so i is equals to length minus one, and I should be greater than equals to zero, and then it should be decreasing and the length would be at least equals to two okay 